Uh, what do we want to do here? Do we want to fight Masamune? Or do we want to go to the mansion? Because who is this? I'm so surprised. I don't know who it is. I kind of, I'm curious. Let's go. You arrive just as a horse, horse drives away. It seems someone died. A young person stares down the street after. Goodbye. Bird, goodbye. Until next time, Alice. Farewell. What the heck is going on? I'm sorry for your loss. Who's Alice? Next time. I'm sorry Don't for your loss. Don't talk about her. You didn't know her. Uh, sorry, I guess? I don't know what the heck's happening. And why am I being scolded? Oh, it's you. Who are you? Huh. Why did you come here? You know me? Just exploring the town. Can't a guy walk on the street? Uh, just exploring the town. They purse their lips, eyes dark. Who the heck is this person? And why is there an angry looking white crow on their shoulder? No, I meant Verona Beach. You're the cause of all this, you know. What? The monsters, the universe thrown out of balance. If it weren't for you, maybe Alice would still be alive. Who's Alice? Their shape begins to change. What? <clears throat> the bird turns into a scythe. That is freaking awesome. Maybe I should just end you and see if status quo returns. Wait, what? Wait, are they the weapon or is the bird the weapon? I thought they turned into a person with like one wing outfit. They seem serious. This seems like an important decision. Your life is on the line. Wait, don't, please. Back off, I'm warning you. Just do it, dead. Enticing temptation. Almost sexual. What? The scythe gleams hungrily at your urging, as if with, with it. There's a moment of silence as a breeze passes between <sighs> you. Fine. I can't just kill a random person I just met. I guess. Even you. Who the heck are you? Pretty human. I'm a pretty human. Oh, wow. Thank you, bird. Hush. Uncertainty passes over their features. So, why why did you come to Verona Beach? I don't have to tell you anything. You should apologize. Who even are you? I'm Rowan. Rowan. My threat wasn't personal, I assure you. It seemed pretty personal. But I suppose I would also feel angry in your situation. Yes. Are you a new weapon? Though I hadn't expected you to respond the way you did. Yeah, just take my life. <laughs> I must remember that you are unpredictable. Perhaps more dangerous than I thought. What is going on here? Oh, well. The reason you came to Verona Beach doesn't particularly matter. My grandmother is gone either way. Oh, is Alice your grandmother? Who is Alice? And you're here now. We'll have to survive somehow, in spite of your chaos. What chaos? Can I wield you? Let's dunge. What chaos? You know, Dungeons everywhere? Creatures running amok? The creatures are only in the dungeons, though. Someone's violating the laws of nature. There's a wrongness rippling. You've been seeing weapons damaged, haven't you? Yes. It's a pattern of evil intent. Yes, I already know what it is. Only a witch of very high caliber can hope to make things right again. A witch? And I should get back to it. That's what Alice would have wanted. Alice is his grandmother, so I don't have to ask that. Are you a witch? They don't acknowledge your question and turn Goodbye. away. Goodbye. They disappear into the house, leaving you alone on the street. That was extremely weird. I was expecting a phone call from him, but he hates me, so... I was not expecting that at all, Mr. Birdman. Can I go back here? No? Nah? A random mansion with a random date. From this point on, you can only continue with a rank 6 weapon and you can no longer save the game. Are you sure you want to continue? 
I knew it. I knew it. Who the heck is that person? It intrigues me. Like, is there one more date I could have been going on? <clears throat> Did everything save? Auto saving. Yep, it saved. Okay, we can go. <laughs> is it auto saving? All right, so, uh, yeah, we got this. I got all level six weapons. Let's go. Yes. And of course, since I love Valeria the most, <laughs> I'm very fond of Valeria, guys. I'm gonna use her, even if I might die because of it. I don't know if this is like going to a dunge or what. Jesse leads you into the weapon shop, whispering. There's a trap door here somewhere. Hmm. Aha! Uh -huh. There! He pulls at a metal ring on the floor, exposing a staircase down into the darkness. Do we have to? It looks like a trap. Yeah, but it's one we're setting. Come on. Okay. You built all that confidence. Now it's time to use it. Yeah, I got pure confidence You've now. You've gone down plenty of stairs in the dunge. Just take a deep breath. All right. Jesse leads the way, holding his phone in front of him as a flashlight. You take a deep breath and follow Jesse down. The air is oddly warm as it slithers around your feet. Hmm. That's a weird way to say it. So this is Eric's private forge, huh? Not bad. Weird. Cozy. Now what? Um, it is kind of comforting down here, isn't it, huh? Cozy. Uh -huh. Yeah, I'm surprised he keeps the fire burning, almost like a religion. I'll get warmed up for some smithing. Meanwhile, you text Eric that you're here, then I'll be ready when Katana gets here. Wait, what? Why? I don't want to. Why can't Eric do this himself? No, what? Why? It's obvious Katana has some kind of mental or emotional link to Eric. After you text him, Eric will fixate on you and Katana will come here, I bet. At least I am pretty sure. So what do you think? You said you were ready. I am ready. You bring up your phone. Your finger hovers over Eric's contact info and hesitates. I'm in your forge. You type in the message and press send. Your stomach feels tight and hot for a moment, but then the nausea passes. Thanks, cuz. You just helped stop a monster. Now I gotta get warmed up. Jesse starts stoking the forge. You sit and watch, facing the door. Just as Jesse starts getting a good heat going, you see someone on the stairs. With a quiet rustle, Katana slips in, eyes bright. Lola. Whoa. Oh, hey there, uh, Masamune. I have an upgrade ready to give you. A blood grove would make you more, um, hmm. quick, Lola. What would Eric want to be? Elegant, intelligent, sexy, creepy. Eric would want to be more sec elegant, I guess. Aha! Uh -huh. Masamune, you will be so much more elegant with blood growth. <laughs> uh-huh. I think he would like to be more elegant because he was trying to get a date, and he, but he's too creepy for it. It's true. A grove to let the blood flow out when you stab someone is a new technology. A grove or groove? I, I'm probably pronouncing that horribly. Just come on over to the forge and I'll upgrade you. You hear another set of feet on the stairs. Mm -hmm. Go with him, the, my firstborn. Get your upgrade. It's for the best. Lies. Lies. Eric. Eric had to come. Why he had to come? Hmm. He really does have a will of his own, despite my best efforts. Hmm. He must have inherited some intellect from the me metal he shares with your weapons. What shared metal? Great. My weapon. It's like I told you, it was wrong, but I took pieces from other weapons when I gathered materials. Mm. So, wait, so you egged up the weapons and took bits from them to build this? Hmm. That's one way of putting it, but I want to fix it, really. Come on, Masamune, don't you want a bit of hammering? It'll be like old times. <sighs> All I want is Lola or death. Katana approaches you, his grin spreading. And it's time to fight, right? Katana. Oh, do I gotta protect them? Oh, I gotta run. This is a boss battle. Oh, 
What? A little late for that, buddy. Okay. There's got to be hope for what happened to him or me. Holy smokes. It feels like we're coming apart. Holy smokes! What is this? Eric's right there all along at the forge? What? Eric shudders. A dark energy links him to the forge and Katana. This is getting crazy! He's inherited my worst impulses. Nobody will be able to hurt him more than his own self loathing Interesting. You have to choose your words carefully. Eric and Katana are... Psycho lock. Uh, they're linked. They're linked. Phys psycho -cally linked. I can't say I blame them. I hate everything about myself, too. How I look, how I talk, how I act. You're trying your best. Eric shakes his head in disagreement. No, no I'm not. I can do better than this. Maybe. I want to, at least. You can, Eric. Katana grows a deep guttural warning. Okay. A new plushie can be found in your apartment. I like the forge with the eye on it. That's 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 actually pretty cute. What is going on? You you did it. Did I do it? I don't feel like I did it. I hoped I mean feared that he was invincible. I hoped feared that he was invincible. Don't you dare try to make a better one. No more weaponsmithing. Just chill out, okay? Oh, I feel bad for Eric. Chill? I'm already completely empty and hollow. I can't be more chill. But it's clear to me now what I should do. What I must do. Go to therapy. Exactly. Yes. I regret so many of my choices. My relationship with weapons has been unhealthy. It has been. Where yours were all based on trust and intimacy, mine were about power. Yeah, you just wanted to control Heavy. them. <laughs> I need to talk to a professional before I hurt anyone else. I need to learn how to love. That's right. I'm not sure it's just a skill you can learn, but good luck. Eric nods, self-loathing cold in his face. You escort Eric out of the forge, up the stairs, and to the street. Hmm. Goodbye, Lola, Jesse, Valeria. I hope I can earn your forgiveness someday. Uh, bye, dude. Good luck, uh, getting help. Eric gives you a final bow and leaves, eyes downcast. I hope he gets the help he needs. <sighs> I'm sure you both tired. I'm exhausted and all I did was watch. It's been a long night. I could party. <laughs> You're, yeah, right. You know, you only have a couple of days left in Verona Beach, so... Let's make some kind of plan to celebrate tomorrow after I get some sleep. See ya. Jesse hugs you and wanders off towards his house. We did it. You and me together. We faced your fears, 
Plus made Verona Beach safe. Just in time for you to catch your flight home, it sounds like. I don't want to go. Come with me. But I'm a Rose of Venus. Come with me. You know, I might just do that. This town is feeling stagnant. Is it? Is it? Or you just want to be with me? There is a familiar muffin stench in my studio again lately. After all... Did you let the muffin I gave you rot? <laughs> but I'll need a few days to get everything packed. Okay. Who knows? Maybe a mysterious mural will show up in your hometown, huh? Ah, oh, maybe. She pulls you into a sudden tight hug, face buried in your neck. I'm not good at goodbyes. I don't know. If I act weird tomorrow, just ignore me. I won't ignore you. We'll only be apart for a little while. I have to believe that. Act uh, as weird as you want. See you tomorrow, I guess. I mean, I'm looking forward to it, but... Ugh, whatever. <laughs> whatever! <laughs> she stalks away, wiping surreptitiously at her eyes. You head home and collapse into bed. In the morning, the sun rises like in any other day. But this is your last day in Verona Beach. You don't have much to pack. Some clothes. I got a ton of clothes now. And a few keepsakes. It only takes a few minutes. It's all over. The thought of getting on the plane makes you want to cry. Smile. Conflict it. You take a deep breath, feeling this moment take root inside you. Soon after you finish packing, you hear a familiar knock on the door. Hey, cuz. I have a full day planned before your flight. Give me your luggage. Let's go. Go where? Just don't worry about it, okay? Come on. Everyone's waiting. Put on this blindfold. That's strange. A whole blindfold for wherever I'm going. He warmly jostles you out the door. You follow him downstairs, then across the street. You hear a familiar crashing of the waves against the sand and reach for your blindfold. So we're at the beach. Ta-da! Everyone's here, and we're ready to party in your honor. You know, Jesse, I'm starting to wonder if your your girlfriend, Samantha, is actually real. Like, um, I haven't seen her all this summer. At all. Not even one appearance. So, cuz, do you need some help? Are you hallucinating or making stuff up? Whoa, what's this? Oh, animations. <laughs> Isaac, that's Valeria? Thunder. He's under the peach top, the umbrella. Whoa. What? This is quite a different, like, drawn style. I wasn't expecting this at all. This has been a good journey. I'm not gonna lie. You spend the day swimming, chatting, and having fun together. As the sun sets to, starts to set, you realize your flight is going to leave soon. It's time to go. Jesse calls you a taxi, and si a silence falls as each of your friends considers what you to say. Time always seems to fly when we're spending it together. Farewell, Farewell. Lola. Oh, be good. And I'll keep trying to be my best self, too. Be you, Sunder. Be your best self. Huh. Valeria snuggles into you, breathing your scent in deeply and sighing. Goodbye for now. Stay safe and watch out for ducks, okay? <laughs> I will make sure no ducks attack me or you in the future. When the summer started, I was feeling dark and alone, but you really helped. Thanks. No problem, Seven. You're gonna make it big on your own. Take care of yourself. Be kind to yourself. For me. You be kind to you too. And hey, maybe now that I have a solo career, I can set more of my own schedule. Yeah! Sawyer so smiles shyly and you can't help yourself giving them a long goodbye kiss. I'll be thinking of you every day. I hope you don't get tired of my texts. Bye for now. Yeah, actually they can all keep texting me too. I like that Boba t-shirt. Pocket! Thank you for making me part of the cat family. This is... Oh. <laughs> Pocket headbutts your shin. 
purr roaring like a motorcycle. You give him a head pat goodbye. Hey, are you okay? You can come back, you know, anytime you want. Yeah, I'm okay. Thanks, Jesse. I'll be back soon. That's the spirit. You know, when you arrived here, your mom and I were really worried about you. You got so nervous you could hardly talk. You didn't seem to know how to meet people, always afraid. Now look at you, you're the real you. I'm grateful I got to see that transformation. Thanks for all the memories, cuz. Give your mom a hug for me, okay? Aw, Jesse, thank you. You get into the taxi, and as the door shuts behind you, you realize you're already making plans to return. And that was how you spent a summer in Verona Beach. The end. Oh, that's so heartfelt. Oh, am I am I supposed to? Is this a? Oh, this is a game. I like the interactivity. I was not expecting this. I am doing horribly. I'm sorry, I'm really enjoying the music and being able to play this mini game, which I'm failing at horribly. This is Seven's song, right? He was playing this on his guitar. I keep failing. I gotta wait till it slows down into it. That was me packing, I just realized. That was me packing to go. Oh. That's really the end of the game. Oh, Kickstarter backers. Wow, that's a lot of backers. I didn't even know this game was on Kickstarter. All of you debut in my video. Uh, is there a new game plus? Oh, that was so awesome. That's it. That was it. That's really it, guys. Uh all of that, that's it. There's no more. Right? Oh, developers. Developers, you gotta make a second one. I feel like there's so much potential that is being missed here. It said complete it. It knows about it. It knows it's completed. See? This guy over here, I forgot his name because I only met him once. Potential weapon here. I need to come back to Verona Beach and meet this guy. Come on, developers, do it for me. Well guys, this has been Boyfriend Dungeon. Thank you so much for joining me in this adventure of many ups and downs. Apparently I didn't choose who I was gonna be with at the end. It was just a great summer. Made a ton of great friends, possibly more than friends. And really felt like this game showed how my character went from being super shy to himself to someone who can open up to people and get to know people better and and be feel like anyone can be a bigger part of anyone else's life. So thank you so much for joining me. This has been Lola Knuckle the Backburners playing Boyfriend Dungeon once again. I, I say that once again. Have a good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. Bye-bye.